Well, who's are all the financial records that Rhoda could come up with? Well, then that'll just have to do. I just need some numbers to back me up when I go talk to Renee about helping me buy this place. Oh, wait a minute. You mean you could be my boss? Mm-hmm. Yikes. Now, listen, you want to do yourself a favor? Don't even start in on me about this being too soon after Linda's death. Uh, I'd be the last one to do that, Max. I mean, you got to keep your best self busy with something. I mean, shoot, why do you think I've been putting all the hours I've been putting in down at the community center? Does it work? <sighs> yes. I mean, I feel like what I'm doing is what Linda would want me to do. So, you know, yeah, it does help. I just wish that other people could see it. There. Wow. Oh, I know. It's kind of a mess, isn't it? No, I mean, wow, this is nice. My place is a mess. This is, uh, I don't know, it's like peaceful, quiet. Yeah, well, a little too quiet lately. Tell me about it. You know, since Rachel moved out, I can hear every clock in the apartment. That's how empty it is. And, uh, you know, I guess it's going to get even more empty now that uh, you know, she says it's over for real. And, uh... I know. It's like with Plumma today. She's so sick. I just wanted her to be well. I mean, AIDS. It's only a matter of time. Marty, look, um, I came down on you too hard today about giving her false hope. You know, I'm sorry. It's obvious you really care about the girl and you just don't want to lose her. Isn't that a part of a doctor's job? Accepting that kind of loss over and over. I mean, who do I think I'm kidding? Christian? Are you here? No, he's not. Look. I'm not gonna hurt you. Take it easy. You're Jessica, right? How do you know my name? I asked my baby brother. Who's the pretty girl with the beautiful smile? You're Antonio? <laughs> my little brother thinks you're really something. He told you that? No. Look at the picture. Look, I was going to leave a note for Chris, but maybe I'll just tell him in person. No. I... No, you can't. He's not going to want to talk to you. Not after what you've done. John, what are you doing here? Ma, uh, listen, I, I, I gotta go. I'm, I'm kind of late. I gotta... Yes, you are. For your job at St. James Church. You're supposed to go there right after school, aren't you? I didn't go to school today. And I'm not going to work either, okay? It's just too hot. It's too hot for everything. Look, Christian, I know how bad things seem right now. I know you're worried about Antonio. You know the arrows are looking to hurt. Let them! You were right about him all along. I don't care anymore. Tell me, what did Antonio do? Commissioner. I just picked up Andy Harrison. And she was hauling these around. Now, with all due respect, sir, but could you please tell me what the hell is going on here? I mean, why did I have to drag in a fellow officer like, like she's some kind of suspect? There are, uh, there are a lot of reasons, Amelia. Would you get Andy in here, please? Emilio, when was the last time you saw your old friend Antonio Vega? I don't know, sir. Why? Does he have something to do with this, with Andy and these guns? Let's get Andy in here, OK? Yes, sir.
yeah, I got it. What do you mean you've got it? Well, that's how everybody's treating me, like I'm some caller. You asked for more time than I gave it to you. Now Bo knows that I'm hiding something really big. I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna have to tell him you're the cop who's selling the guns. Face it, Manzo. It's over. Listen, could, you, could we talk about this later, please? Tell me. He's selling guns. He's selling guns to children? So they can murder each other in the street? Even Antonio would never do such a thing. Mommy, I saw it with my own two eyes, okay? I saw a whole duffel bag full of guns. Don't you get it? I mean, can't you see? He doesn't even have a job. He doesn't look for a job. He doesn't need a job. Jobs are for suckers like me, Mom. He makes all the money he wants by arming every punk in the neighborhood. Christian. If this is true... You know, you know, I've always tried to keep Antonio out of the gangs, but I always failed. Because he always needed that, you know? He always knew he needed to feel special. But you can't get, let yourself get involved with that kind of stuff, because you're different. You have things inside of you that make you feel proud. You have your schoolwork, and you have your wonderful art. <sighs> Mom, you and Antonio always thought that I had this, this, this big dream. You know, my dream is really small, Mom. All, all I ever wanted was for you and Antonio and me to be a family again. That's all I ever wanted. It's like if I could just paint this dream, it, it, it would come true. Well, that's not gonna happen, is it, Mom? Man, he played me for a fool, Mom. You know, but I guess I couldn't be so hard, right? I mean, because I'm an artist and my head, my head is always in the clouds. But you know what? That is never gonna happen again. Because I'm never going to be that stupid again. So, Chris... I guess he's feeling really bad. How do you think he's feeling? I mean, God, if one of my brothers was selling guns, I'd be pretty upset and angry, too. That's why I came here. To tell him how sorry I was. Look, my brother means a lot to me. I guess he wouldn't care if he didn't look up to you, right? But he does. I mean, you're like this god to him. Well, maybe one day Chris will understand why I did what I did. What do you mean? Give him this message. You tell him all the time I spent in prison, I never stopped thinking about him. I love him, okay? You tell him that. And if I'm not around to look after him, I mean, you never know. Something might be coming around the corner, right? But anyways, I, I made some plans for him. If, if anything happens, you tell him to go see police officer Andy Harrison. She'll help him. I don't understand. Are you going away? gone for a while. Right? So give him this. You tell him I was trying to do the right thing, okay? What mommy would have wanted me to do. Antonio, maybe, maybe you should wait. I mean, she, he, Christian ought to be back any minute. Maybe you should tell him it yourself. 
You know how much my brother cares about you? His face lights up every single time he says your name. Like that. You'd be good to him, huh? I know you're on the spot, Andy, but I, if you can just hold off to going to Bo for uh, an hour. <sighs> all right, look, half an hour. Half an hour, then I go to Bo and I tell him myself. I'll tell him everything, all right? But right now, my ex-wife is waiting for me downstairs. I've got to tell her. I've got to do everything I can to keep her from taking my boy away it's from second me. second Bo's long enough. This is getting insane. Oh, shh, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. That's all I'm asking for my son, okay? You know how sick he is. What's he going to do without a father? Nick. Andy, the commission wants to see you now. All right. Commissioner, Mary Gonzalez. Welcome, sir. Bo, oh, look, I'm sorry about last night. I didn't plan a disappearing act. Just something came up, and I... Have you seen these guns before, Andy? I do at least have that much right, hmm? Yeah. Are these the guns that uh, Antonio Vega bought? Yeah. Officer Harrison, as I see it, you have two choices here. You can tell me who sold Antonio Vega this arsenal, or you can keep stonewalling, and you can face the consequences. I'm waiting. You want to cooperate or not? I do. The problem is, I, I don't know who sold these guns to Antonio Vega. I didn't see the guy. You didn't see the guy. Tell me that somebody saw the guy other than Antonio Vega. Tell me somebody saw something. A voice on tape, a photograph. Uh, so no. No. Officer Harrison, were you even there at the scene when all this went down? Oh, Commissioner, sorry. I mean, you know that, that Antonio, he, he's hard to control. I mean, the guy wants to do it his way, or he said he was going to take a walk. So I said, fine, and I, and I meant to shadow him until he made the gun buy, but then I lost him. Look, I mean, it's nothing that I'm proud of. I mean, at least he did what we asked him to do. He got the guns, and there they are. You think this is what I want here, huh? I want the name of the dirty cop, Andy. The guy that's been stealing from us and selling guns out on the street that are getting people like Luna Moody killed. Nobody can finger this guy except Antonio Vega. And he forgot to even mention the bad guy's name. Where is Vega right now? I don't know. He's hiding out somewhere. Look, the Arrows have a warrant out for him. They're a death warrant. He's afraid of this cop because he thinks that if he, if he fingers this guy and we don't bring him in, that the guy's going to go after him. Antonio called me. He's ready to ID this guy. Maybe soon. Today. I don't know. He just wants to know that he's safe. And how is that going to happen? Yeah, yeah. Does any of this really make sense to you? Antonio Vega now is doing your job while you pull some disappearing act. You don't even call in. Not once. I hear news that you're just, you start to act real squirrely, which goes along with my feelings that you have not been straight with me for days. You leave me no choice but to go have you picked up. And when I have you picked up, you're out on the street with a duffel bag full of guns. I was just going home to shower, and I was going to bring these in and tell you my story. I swear. Don't, don't you believe me? So, oh, either the heat's getting to you, or it's Rhodey's bookkeep. Actually, I'm thinking about my sister. Wow, well, what's up with Andy? She didn't come home last night. I well, kept calling all night trying to reach her. She's on this major case. I'm sure she's got lots of reasons for pulling an all-nighter, but I just wish I knew where she was. It's... I can understand you being concerned about her job and all. You know, especially now. You know, in fact, now that I think about it, that's probably the exact same way that Marty feels about me. 
mean, being working down at the community center is dangerous, and well, it's hard on her. But maybe that's all the more reason that we shouldn't be together right now. I don't know, Dylan. I can't blame Marty for being afraid, but uh, don't you think there's some way you two can get past this? Well, right now, I'm not even sure if it's fair to keep pushing her the way that happened. Just miss her. That's all. Made the tea, but uh, I put the sugar in already. I'm sorry. It's a force of habit. It's just the way Dylan likes it. I can make some hey, more. Hey, sugar's fine. Hurry up. You really miss him, don't you? I love the guy. But I'd rather give him up now than have him taken away from me later. <laughs> hey, Marty, he could have the safest job in the world. He'd still never know. Accidents happen. People get sick. Yeah, like Paloma. And look how I handled that one. I lied to her. Just to make myself feel better. <sighs> I'm just so afraid of losing people I care about. Well, that's natural. Well, for a coward, maybe, but should a coward be a doctor? Look, the way I see it, you're feeling in your gut the things that make your patients afraid. You understand what they're going through, and that can make you a great doctor. And that professional detachment that you need so you don't feel like a raw nerve, I mean, you can learn that. Okay, it's not easy, but you, I don't know, you try, I don't know. I guess uh, I'm not that great at it myself. That's why I understand what you're going through with Dylan. Because uh, that's what's tearing me up about Rachel. I mean, I'm afraid for her. Because I want to help her, and there's nothing that I can do. God, she's got everything going for her. I, how can she put her whole life at risk? It's like her life means nothing. She's just throwing it all away. Maybe she feels she doesn't deserve it. You've always known what you wanted, right? You've had the strength and the confidence, and you've just gone and taken it. Well, um, for people who have trouble liking themselves, Sometimes you just find yourself slipping under and you just don't know how to kick your way back to the surface. I know that better than I'd like to know that. <laughs> You're not drinking your tea. Oh, it is sweet. <sighs> you, um, you want something stronger? No, that's not a bad idea. But whatever you have, school, you know, it's that kind of day. You're really upset. I came here as soon as school let out, but you were uh, I'm, I'm not that late. I was just worried about you, that's all. I would have been here sooner, except my mom came to the diner. She came in, and I just, I lost it. So everything came out about Antonio, everything. So she knows he was selling the guns? She does now. Antonio was here. He, um, he just left a few minutes ago. What? He had something he wanted me to tell you. No. Forget it. He's got nothing to say to me that I want to hear. I know you 
mad about last night because I had to leave with the brides, and I'm sorry. And we can talk about that later, okay? But I may be leaving for a while, and I don't have a lot of time right now. So I just came to ask you for something, and I know I don't have the, the right to ask you, but, but I need it if you can give it. I need your blessing, Mama. You gotta be straight with me, Andy. You protecting Vega? Huh? Would you fall for the guy or something? You like his tattoos? Is that what this is all about here? Maybe Vega made some kind of deal with the gun seller. I don't know. Took his cut of the eight grand. He split. Now you're protecting him. No? Maybe it's not Vega that you're protecting at all. Maybe it's the dirty cop. Unless, and this, this better not be the case. You're protecting yourself right now. You and Vega, you're in this together, huh? I thought you said you trusted me. Then please, run another scenario by me right now. Please, Bo, you've got to believe me. I am not a bad cop. I just need a little more time. Sorry, no. We don't have it. There's no more rope to hold on to. My job, my good name, it's circling the drain right now, Andy, and you're going down, too. Unless you grab on to this last chance that I'm offering you right now. Who's selling guys? You better tell me. This is it. I will suspend you from this force effective immediately. You think I'm bluffing, Andy? I'm not. You're suspended as of this moment. I don't know. Maybe you don't even care. If by chance you do care and you want to straighten this out, this is what you do. You find Antonio Vega. You both get your butts back in here and let's clear this mess up. But it's up to you. You choose to do nothing, we're going to be talking about a whole lot more than a suspension here, Andy. Are we clear on that? Sorry. You too. I, I just hope that real soon that you, you understand that I'm doing everything that I can. And if you were in my position, that... Then what? What would I do, huh? Please, tell me what? From now, you won't even remember I slapped you. The way you hurt your brother. Yeah. This gentle, loving boy. What has he ever done to you that you break his heart? Don't you feel anything? He adores you, and, and you repay him by taking the trust and the faith that he has to have if he's going to make it in this terrible world, and you spit on it? Por qué? Do you think that he could ever forgive that? I never thought I would feel this way. I miss your father so much. But I'm glad that he's dead. Mama! I am. So he doesn't have to see what you've become. He told you about the guns, didn't he? Yes. Oh, you should have seen Christian's face when he told me. Get out of here. Just get out. I only wish that I'd never have to see your face again. Maybe you'll get lucky, Mama. Maybe you never will. No. No, I can't leave like this. I've got to tell you the truth.
First order of business, and for buy this place a new air conditioning unit. That'd be nice if you could fix everything with me. Look, Dylan, you may not want my advice, but if you're missing Marty that much, go give her a call. Oh, yeah, and tell her what? I mean, it was her idea that we break up. Not that, uh, you know, I still think we belong together, but uh, what good does that do me, huh? You know, when I met Luna, I didn't think there was a million and one chance I would ever fall in love with that woman. And then one day... <laughs> and ever since that moment, I couldn't imagine getting to one day of my life without her. I guess I'll have to figure out how now. So listen, you still got a chance. You know, I, I, I don't know what you're thinking, but it doesn't matter who broke up with whom. She may be missing you just as much as you're missing her right now. Like Lena says, once you find love, don't lose it. Oh, listen to me. You sounded like a love line. Just forget it. Forget everything I said. Just I'm going back to big time we and deal. Like you could use a nap. This heat takes it out of all of us, you know. You have been in the hospital lately. Oh, just one day. It's no biggie. Hey, people don't check in the Landview Hospital for the cuisine. True. I had a kidney infection. Oh, Marty, that is a biggie. I mean, especially with you having lupus. I know. Larry told me that if I didn't start taking better care of myself, that I might end up facing surgery. And he's right. So, uh, you are, right? Taking better care of yourself? Trying. Good. Try harder. You, I don't think you realize how important you are. You, Sheila, Rachel, me, a lot of people. Maybe I just needed a pat on the back. I'm starting to feel better already. I'm a doctor. That's my job. Yeah, and a very good one, too. Uh, yeah. Sometimes I think so, but... I got all this training and experience, and I can't save the one person I love the most. No one can do that. Rachel has to save herself. And that'll only be when she's ready. At least, that's how it always worked with me. Well, what if she really hurts herself in the meantime? Yeah. Maybe I need a nap. Okay. Wake me when this heat wave's over. Thank you for keeping me company. My pleasure. No. Um. It's Dylan. Hi. Dylan, um, what's up? Nothing. I was just uh, calling to see if you're feeling any better. Well, that's nice of you. Um, you f I'm fine. Yeah, I just wish that it would start acting like September. Well, just uh, be glad you're not slaving away down here at Rutgers, because, boy, it's hot. I am. Well, I guess I should get back to work here. Okay. Uh, you know, just uh, let me know if there's anything I can... No, I've do. pretty much got everything under control. Okay. Um, take care. Oh, that was Dylan. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's, it's uh, great. Looks like he's reaching out to you. Could be. Well, uh, I should 
probably I know, I know. I know. I'm, I'm sleepy. Let's uh, hope there are better times on the way for both of us. Well, drink that. I mean, if I was still abusing alcohol, like this. Night, Ben. Yeah. See you tomorrow. He left. I just saw him in the parking lot. It must have been when you were in with the commission. He left? Mm -hmm. was, his, was his ex wife with him? Not that I know of. Why? Did, uh, did he say he was coming back? No. Hey, cleaning out my desk is not a two man operation. Go. I can't go. I'm sorry. Look, I was ordered to escort you out the building, okay? Whenever you're ready. Yeah, well, I'm ready. Work in for the. Estoy trabajando para la policía. Contiendo. Crazy, Mama. It did to me too. The cops made the offer. What offer? They said they would push my parole, and they did. That's the only reason why I'm back on the street. I, but I had to promise to help them out. Doing what? You know, there's people in Angel Square selling guns to kids. Christian says you're one of them. Pretending to be, Mama. Commissioner Buchanan wants a man who can get inside and find out about this gun selling racket. Find out who's running it. He figured, since I'm from the hood and, and I have a record, that the bad guys would believe me. I've been working with this female officer. Her name's Andy Harrison. Antonio, this sounds very dangerous. Why would you even do something like this? Because I figured if I was out, I could keep an eye on Christian. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. And I guess I wanted to show you that I could change. So that you wouldn't write me off. Is all this true? There's no reason for you to believe me. Not now. But maybe someday. Anyways, I've got to go finish what I started. I want you to know I, I understand that you couldn't give me your blessing. But I also want you to know that I love you, Mama. Will you remember that? Goodbye, Mama. It's all set, man. As soon as it gets dark. Everybody be heading down to the docks. All those sorry arrows and every one of your prize. They think they're gonna see some blood? We'll give it to them, right, Hefe? Because they're gonna be fighting a lion. Come on, let's go. It's time.
Since when are you running an arms bazaar? Picked up Andy Harrison on the street. She had this bag of guns with her. She said she was bringing him here, but uh, I don't know if I'd buy it. Meaning? Meaning her story doesn't add up, Nick. She's protecting Antonio Vega. She may be doing worse than that. I don't know. She won't even talk to me. I had to ask for a badge. Oh, man. Wow. They should wonder if you ever really know anyone, you know? Jeez. Well, you're the one with a gut feeling. So we move on to step two. I want Antonio Vega picked up. I want him booked. I want a tail on Andy. I'll, uh, I'll take care of that for you. Uh, I mean, if it's okay with you, uh, Andy was on my watch. Bo and I, uh, I feel responsible. Appreciate that. You Cheers. You cannon? Yeah? What? No, no, I'm on it. I'm on it. Okay, I'll be there. One of the city councilmen was just brought in on a DWI, so I've got to go do a little policing. Uh, I'll be back. Do me All a right. favor, will you? Take those guns to forensics. Yeah, you got it, Bo. Jess, I told you you could stay if you wanted to, but I don't want to talk, okay? I'm sorry, but you have to hear this. Christian, your brother loves you. And I know how much you love Antonio. Can't you just try and forgive him? I mean, and then help him? Just like you've been asking your mother to do for so long. Everything else. I mean, even killing a guy in self-defense. But it wasn't like this. Making money off selling guns to kids, to his own people. Oh, I, um, I forgot. Antonio wanted me to give this to you. This was, this was his, uh, his lucky charm. He never took this off, ever. Why would he give me this? I don't know. I mean, the way he was talking, he was talking like he wasn't gonna be here for a while. I didn't really understand what he meant, but it was almost, it was almost like he was trying to say goodbye. Or that something really bad was going to happen. We've been waiting for this for a long time, man. Six years to see the lion stepping into his skin, wearing his colors. How's it feel, man? Like I'm a new man. Nah, man, you used to be part of a lion, bro. You got a lot of guts going up against one of the arrows one-on-one, -on -one, fist to fist, man. Yeah, well, it looks like I might be getting the night off. You guys see any arrows? Uh, let's get dark soon. They'll be here any minute. So take this for the main event. No. I won't be needing that. Today, a glimpse into the future helps one teen in his struggle with alcoholism on Fast Forward, the season premiere of the ABC After School special. Has Lucy forgiven Kevin for his investigation of Maya? Stay tuned for General Hospital, following an ABC News brief.